What's cooking everyone? Welcome back. It's time for a pounds for purrs workout and basically we're going to be repeating the last three sessions. So starting off with incline bench as well as t-bar row for the 10 by 5 and going from there. Today I didn't feel like going and doing a cardio warm up so I skipped that completely and just started off on bench press. So I did the same warm up sets that I've been doing which was a set of 10 with 135 and then after that a set of 8 with 185 and here are the working sets with 200 pounds 90 seconds of rest in between sets as always and you'll see for the most part a good stoppage on the chest and then as the sets progress you'll see a longer pause and for some reps a really really long pause and that was due to some confidence and motivation provided by the woman in the background who actually I've seen I'd say a, a handful of times not a ton but about a handful of times I've come across her and she always does incredible workouts her physique is ridiculous like she is very impressive with not only the body that she has built for herself but also with her form her technique I get a small feeling she may be in the fitness industry in some capacity whether a personal trainer maybe a group exercise instructor or something it would not surprise me if she is certified in something or is a teacher instructor of something out there I'm not sure quite yet but she definitely gives off that vibe and like I said very good exercise selection her form was always great always on point uh, we were sort of matching. I don't know if you would call that a complete match, but we had similar colors on. And we traded some glances back and forth, some looks. So I think there's a, a mutual respect there. And that's always a nice thing to have. But definitely a hard worker. Definitely someone who is goal-driven. And not only that, but locks in, really puts in the work. And at the same time, she actually has a lot of fun, too. So I remember... I think it was a week ago or so I saw her and she would kind of do a little dance between exercises between sets during her recovery periods and that's really cool I admire that very much because yes she works very hard she takes her training seriously obviously but also at the same time not too seriously likes to have some fun likes to just kind of jam out and just kind of groove to whatever it is she's listening to I wish I had that sort of confidence I I don't I really really don't but that's okay I definitely see that in her oh and for this set I wanted to include that just because I thought I put my towel to the right like I always did but for some reason I put it to the left so I figured it'd be kind of funny just to show me being confused going to the right automatically realizing the towel wasn't there and then finally looking left and then grabbing the towel to wipe off my sweat but anywho so yeah incline bench good day and you may have noticed by now that I am wearing a sleeveless t-shirt this doesn't happen anymore I used to wear tank tops sleeveless tees for a while and we're talking a, a long time ago I just haven't done it since and so I figured why not I forgot I even had this t-shirt and so I figured why not just put it on see how it fits amazingly it actually does fit still after all this time and it was comfortable I like wearing things like that well at least I used to because just the ventilation I overheat very easily I can raise my body temperature just by thinking about something let alone exercising and actually working up a sweat but I don't know I, I for a long time now it's just been simple shorts t-shirt short sleeve shirt that's about it even in recent history you've seen me wearing pants which isn't very common for years I never wanted to just because I would get so very hot and stuffy and just not very comfortable especially when you're sweating a lot it's not very comfortable to kind of trap that heat inside and and get all sweaty underneath that's not it's not pleasant but Nowadays, I seem to be able to do that. I still prefer sh just shorts and a shirt. That's literally just my go-to. And today, I just, I don't know. I don't really know even know what made me wear it. I just, I just decided to when I came across it in my laundry. But 
for these last couple sets, you're going to see some, some long pauses on the chest. Now, of course, that's not for every rep, but a definite long stoppage like this right here, this is ridiculous. That's, that's more than anyone ever needs to pause a barbell on their chest. But I did it, and of course, it was really due to the insanely amazing woman working out and just kind of the just the, the mutual bond that little connection and I really appreciate that because it, it just drove me through incline bench I was trying to keep myself from uh, going into the next set too quickly and cutting the rest times too short so I had to really keep an eye on the watch and just make sure that I wasn't jumping the gun and made sure that I was resting properly so hats off to her I'd love to see her again. I'd love to work out with her. I'd love to see what she would come up with. And it would be a lot of fun. I think it would be a lot of fun. A lot of work would get done. A lot of weight would get moved. And I would genuinely be interested in a workout designed by her. And even a workout designed by her for me. Or even just something that she just would think might be fun for us to do. I would totally be open-minded about it, and I would be game for whatever it is that she would come up with. All right, here's the last set. So for the accessory, I went to a seated chest press machine, and I did a set of eight with 150. I then did a set of eight with 200, so just like last time. And then I thought, you know what, maybe I'll just do progressive sets starting at 220. So I'll go from 220 to 230 to 240. However... 220 really just moved too easily easier than I thought it was going to so instead what I did was I maxed out the machine at 245 and did the 3 by 8 with 245 and so that's all that I can do in terms of adding weight I would have to just add reps after that because that's the machine literally maxed out completely all right t-bar row so for t-bar row I kept it pretty pretty simple in terms of technique I just wanted to just make sure that I got into the starting position comfortably, kept a nice neutral back, and just gave it a really good squeeze. So I did my usual set of 10 with 95 to warm up, then set of 8 with 120, and here's the 10 by 5 with 150, 90 seconds of rest in between sets of course, and I really just wanted to get to the peak contraction. You will see me holding the last rep against my body towards, I'd say, sets 5 through 10 but for these earlier sets honestly I just want to make sure that everything was locked in I wasn't going to go for anything spectacular because I think I did more of that with incline bench so with these opening sets especially it's go through the range of motion maintain the position as well as make sure you get to the peak contraction of course there's the ever so briefest of stoppages like that right there but I'm not going for anything overt nothing long there and so just get to the peak contraction really go by the kinesthetic feel making sure that I'm getting to the top getting to the apex getting a full squeeze and then lowering down of course but for the first five I think it was it wasn't so much on holding the peak contraction as much as get there maybe for the briefest of moments hold it and then come back down for the eccentric and then now as you see the second half of the sets that's more of where I was starting to play around with just a slight pause but again that really wasn't the priority here I just wanted to make sure that I got all volume in and I did comfortably no issues with grip so my hands weren't slipping at all. I had a nice firm grip with the interlocking finger grip on the barbell. And it was a good day. It was a very good day, actually. Dare I say it, it's a, it was one of the best workouts I've had in a while. Not that I've had any bad workouts, but in terms of just comfort and weight and, vo and considering the volume and the pace, this is pretty good actually this is actually very good for me so I'm happy where I'm at with these two specific exercises as well as all the others but these two especially they're going quite well and I'm hoping to be able to add a little bit more to it before anything needs to change so as long as that keeps consistent I'll keep going but I'm really liking what the t-bar row is doing for my back especially with thickness so I will definitely revisit it again and throw it into another program somewhere down the line. 
and I definitely recommend it, especially if you are used to doing like barbell rows horizontally across the body. This one is a nice one. I really like it. Now for the accessory, I went to a straight arm pull down. However, instead of the straight bar, I went with a V bar, which I actually really enjoyed. So I did a set of eight with 50, too light, a set of eight with 70, still kind of light. So then I did the three by eight with 90 pounds. All right, y'all adopt, don't chop.